how much stuff can you carry from a car into a house. Giant camera with a microphone on it. Your gym bag, your man purse, and all your groceries. How in the hell am I gonna open this door? All right, hang on. Boom. It's not too, it's not too bad out today. I have to make sure that the dogs don't run out after me like they did the last time. It's not too bad out today. It's raining, but you're gonna have to be quiet. I'm filming something. Thank you. It's not too bad out today. Like I said, it's raining. Um, but I do want to, uh, I do want to talk about uh, this scarf right here, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So this scarf right here, I had a question about that. So we're going to start a new segment on the vlog. So for this little segment, so I love the fact that the vlog has become this like back and forth between me and you, the viewer, and people have been putting comments down in the comments section. I think it's awesome. So this segment here is going to be based on questions that you guys have asked me either in the comments section or on the Facebook posts. So today's question comes from Jody and Jody wondered what the scarf is. Uh, that's at the back of my seat in my Jeep. So Jody, that scarf on the back of my seat is actually known as a kafea, which is a Middle Eastern head wrap. However, some people actually refer to it as a shime or a shimog. It's basically like a big scarf, like a big square piece of material, but it's very like breathable, like air kind of flows through it, but it doesn't really let any material through it. So, uh, so some of the military forces have actually like kind of adopted them as like a wind jammer or like to keep uh, debris and sand from getting inside of their gear or their kit for like desert operations or anywhere where it's real sandy or has like a lot of like grit and grime. It's real uncomfortable I'm sure having like all that kit on being real sweaty and then having all that like sand and stuff in there. But even more recently, people have been using it as a fashion accessory. I personally think it's like a multi-use tool, so I just kind of have it in my truck just in case I ever need it for anything. And it's very fashion forward. There's actually one on my passenger seat too. This is it right here. It has guns on it. Thanks, Ed. Ed got me this with the guns on it. And just remember, if you're a hardcore pipe swinger, or you're a new wave hipster kind of dude. The Shemag has multiple uses. Dear God, I hope you guys like that segment. <laughs> it took all day for me to do that, and I destroyed the house. My wife is going to kill me. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you send me some questions so that I can answer them in the stupid smart section of the vlog. I'm sure I'm gonna get some ridiculous requests from you. I have to go pay some bills and go to work, but I'll catch you guys tomorrow.